This thing is a game changer. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lynam back with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about demoing and reviewing the RX-11 Repair Assistant. This is great for anybody who does voiceover or podcasts or anything like this. I don't think I would use it on a live stream because it is going to cause a lot of latency, but on a recording, if you need to clean it up and get rid of some reverb or room noise or mouth clicks or anything like that, this thing is awesome. This does a very, very, very good job without really changing the sound quality of your recording. It will get rid of the bad stuff, no problem, and you're probably not even going to hear much of a difference as far as the way your recording sounds after you've made some changes. Make sure you're listening on a set of really, really good headphones. That way you can actually hear what's going on in the video. Right now I'm talking on the Neumann BCM 104 microphone and there's no editing, no processing, no nothing other than maybe some simple volume adjustments. And let's go ahead and pull up the RX-11 Repair Assistant, turn it on, let you hear what it does, and then we'll do some demos and all that good stuff. And then I'll do a final review when we're done. We are going to start off with a recording in a pretty quiet room where there's not a lot of background noise. And then in a minute, I'm going to turn on my window air conditioner, which is quite noisy, and my fan. And that way you're going to be able to hear exactly how well this does at removing some light background noise. All right, let's go ahead and start playing with controls. We got the D-hum, we have D-click. D-click basically gets rid of those nasty mouth noises, like just lip smacks and saliva moving around in your mouth. It's great for anybody who's having to record when you're a little dehydrated. It will definitely get rid of that stuff. It's got a D-reverb, it's got a D-noise, it's got a D-hum. And these things work really, really good. And you can crank these dials up to the max and you actually don't really hear much of a difference whatsoever. It doesn't seem to be changing the sound like it did. Now the old version of this would just wreck your recordings. If you use the anti-reverb or the de-hum or anything like that, it would totally destroy your recording and make it sound like trash. On this one, I'm not really hearing much of a difference whatsoever. Now when we get to the de-esser part of this, it actually seems to work really good. It does its job great. Now the de-esser shaping, I usually just leave that on 50%. I haven't seen, a, seen any type of need so far to change that, but it does very, very well. When it comes to the little part that talks about tone, I actually don't need that. I just turn that off. You can make it a little brighter or darker sounding. So I guess if you don't want to do any EQ work, and if your recording is too bright or your recording is too dark, you can always go ahead and mess around with that. The next thing on here is D-Clip, and that's something you should never have to use. You should never, ever, ever need to use D-Clip. That basically means your recording was set up wrong, and it was flying off the end of the loudness meter, and it was actually clipping and distorting, and that is actually supposed to fix the clipping. Does it actually work? I don't know. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and crank up the, 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 the thing. <laughs> Oh my god, we can go ahead and crank up the thing and do some clipping and see what happens, so let's test it out. Okay, so this recording is going to be clipping and it's probably distorted and sounding awful, so let's find out if the declip thing works or not. I'm not 100% sure, but this is probably going to sound really, really, really loud and really, really, really bad. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just clipping like crazy. And I don't know if the declip works. If it does, it's going to be a miracle. That actually worked. It did a really good job. I mean, we were clipping. It was distorted. And it did a really good job at fixing that. I mean, like I said, that's not ideal. You don't want to have to use that, but it works. Right now I have a fan running and I have a very loud window air conditioner running. This microphone should be picking up both of those pretty good. So if you're listening on a great set of headphones and you turn the volume up a little bit, you should definitely be able to hear those. Now we're going to go ahead and test the controls with all this noise in the background. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the little ear button that lets you hear just what it's getting rid of. That way you can hear exactly what this thing is doing what sound it's removing, you'll hear the, the mouth clicks that it's getting rid of, and everything else. So let's go ahead and test this out, and I'm just going to go ahead and sit there and talk about some weird stuff, because... Thank you. 
Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the de except for I'm really going to accentuate those S's so we can hear exactly what the de is doing and which sounds it's moving, but removing, but Sally Cell C Seashell, Sally Cell, 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 Seashells. Now, if you ask me, I'm going to say this thing is really doing its job, and the only thing I haven't tested out yet is how this sounds with a recording that actually has a lot of reverb. Well, we're going to go ahead and test that out. We're going to find out what a recording with a lot of reverb sounds like. And yeah, we're going to see how it gets rid of reverb right now. So what we're going to do is start moving the dial for the reverb removal. And we are going to find out if this is able to remove the reverb without destroying the sound of the recording. So let's go and crank that up a little bit more and a little bit more. I know there's got to be a lot of reverb coming back into the microphone right now because I'm recording in a very not ideal spot. So there should be a very, very, very nice amount of reverb. And does my voice sound nice and clean and clear or is it kind of wrecking the recording? This is going to be a great test to find out how much reverb this can actually remove before it starts destroying the recording and how much of the reverb it actually gets rid of. Is there some reverb left? Is it got rid of all of it? We'll find out. Let's go ahead and play this back and uh, see what she does. We'll see what she does. We will see what she does. Oh, yeah. Now, I would say that did an overall really good job at removing the reverb. It wasn't perfect. I did hear a little bit of artifacting. So I wouldn't record a voice acting gig in that room and try and use the reverb remover to get rid of the reverb. I mean, you really want to be recording in a sound treated room or at least a semi sound treated room. Now in a room like mine, where I've got a decent amount of sound treatment and it's removed about 90% of the reverb, the most of the reverb I actually get is bouncing off of my desk that's in front of me if I'm setting down the recording. And it's great for getting rid of that last little bit of reverb, but it's, you know, just kind of okay when you're getting rid of a lot of reverb. But if you're not doing anything that's like super critical, like a voice acting audition, then you would probably be okay with the reverb removal just to get rid of some of it or a lot of it. But it does have a little bit of artifacting. It's not perfect. Now, when it comes to getting rid of the mouth clicks, this is amazing. The D hum is amazing. Their background noise removal is amazing. I can sit there and record with my fan and my air conditioner running and nobody's ever going to know it's there. I think the DSR works really well. And the little tone knob is something I wasn't expecting this to have. But if your recording is just a little bit too bright or just a little bit too dark, you can fix it up really well with just that tone knob without having to bust out a real EQ, which some people are going to really enjoy. So in my opinion, this is probably one of the best tools I've ever used for somebody who is podcasting or a YouTuber or a voice actor who just wants to get rid of that last little bit of reverb, that little bit of background noise, or just clean up the mouth clicks and stuff like this. This is so much better than RX-10. RX-10 Elements or the RX-10 Repair Assistant was complete trash in my opinion. I actually own it and it was, I, I hardly ever use it for anything other than the mouth declick. The rest of the stuff was just pure crap. This is good. RX-11 Elements is really, 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 really good. The Repair Assistant is amazing. I mean, it's, it's totally worth the money if you're somebody that does, that does a lot of voice work. I think anybody doing voiceover or podcast or anything like that really should go out and buy this. I mean, this is one of those really good tools. I'm not affiliated with this company. They're not paying me. I'm, I don't have an affiliate link or anything. I just think this is a really, really, really good plugin. Between the RX-11 Elements, 
my fab filter and my waves plugins i can do some pretty amazing stuff now waves has a couple of awesome plugins like clarity vx clarity vxd reverb and those are great for getting re rid of reverb and room noise as well but waves doesn't have anything that really works well for the declicks for when your mouth is when you're hearing those really nasty sounds like that when you're dehydrated Waves does have a couple of things that can kind of combat like that, like the X crackle or X click, but they don't work like this one. Now, when it comes to the Waves Clarity VX, that is one of my favorite background removal tools. It pretty much causes no latency. It gets rid of the air conditioner, the fan, and it doesn't really degrade the sound of my voice as long as I don't crank it up. I mean, if there's too much background noise, yeah any one of these things is going to trash a recording but if you just got light background noise something like this or the waves clarity vx which is way cheaper is going to do a great job at getting rid of that fan or that air conditioner running in the background and nobody's ever going to know you're using a background noise remover if you have rx10 or rx8 or rx9 i would highly suggest upgrading if you can Go over to Isotope, log into your account, and see if you can upgrade to RX11 because it is so much better, so much better than RX10, especially if you're using the Repair Assistant. Now, on a lot of the standalone plugins that came with RX11 Elements or even the RX11 Standard, they said they've improved a lot of those standalone plugins as well. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. I actually, I actually ended up getting the RX11 Standard and that came with RX11 Breath Control, RX11 Connect, RX11 D-Click, RX11 D-Clip, RX11 D-Crackle, RX11 DS, D-Hum, D-Pulsive, D-Reverb, Dialogue Isolate, Guitar Denoise, Monitor, whatever that is, Mouth D-Click, Repair Assistant, Spectral Denoise, Spectral Editor, and RX11 Voice Denoise. So it came with all kinds of crazy standalone plugins. I think I got it on sale for like $75 or something for the RX Standard when it first came out. And that was totally, totally worth it. I think it's normally like three, 400 bucks or something ridiculous like that. But when it first came out, it was on sale. And I mean, it, it's totally, totally, totally worth it. This is, this is a great deal. But honestly, you can go over there and get the RX Elements for like 50 bucks or 100 bucks or somewhere around that price range. And it's just really, 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 really worth the money. So if you purchase the RX 11 Elements, that does come with quite a few standalone plugins as well. Not quite as many as I have because I did buy the RX 10 Standard when I got it for like 80 bucks or 70 bucks. Like I said, right now it's about $400, which I would, I would, I would never pay $400 for it. But the RX Elements for 99 bucks is totally worth the money. It comes with a bunch of really nice stuff, and that Repair Assistant is just awesome. So I think this is a great plugin. I can't say the same about RX 10 or earlier, but RX 11 Elements is awesome. Everybody doing any type of voice work should actually have this, especially let's just say you're doing something really important one day and you're dehydrated and you got a bunch of mouth clicks going on and it just sounds gross and disgusting. That's going to gross people out. It's worth it just for the mouth declick thing. And when you're using just mouth declick, there's hardly any latency whatsoever. Now, when you turn on the other stuff, that's when it starts adding a bunch of latency. So you might be able to use this for live streaming if you're just using the declick. But if you start turning on the no background noise, removal or the reverb reduction that's when it starts to add a lot of latency and using a bunch of computer processing power and all of a sudden i can't talk wonderful but in my honest opinion this is totally worth the money everybody should buy this if you're doing voice work and i think that's going to wrap up the review I do have an affiliate link to some Waves plugins, some really awesome stuff on amazon and a bunch of other junk down there in the video description and the pinned comment but waves fab filter and this i don't really like most isotope plugins whatsoever this is the first oh my god i'm sorry you just had to hear that but let's add that clip on there again and use the rx11 repair assistant and see if it gets rid of some of the horrible sounds that they just made so this will be interesting to see what it does on that clip where i just had that weird burp oh my god this is the first isotope plugin i have ever truly liked this rx11 elements is awesome or if you want to save a little money and you just need some background noise removal, go check out Waves Clarity VX. 
affiliate link to waves in the video's description and the pinned comment but i think that's going to wrap this one up thank you for watching this is a really good plugin i really like it i really love it it's worth the 100 dollars for the elements rx11 elements is awesome catch you guys later lightning out thanks for watching don't forget to check out the video's description and all that good stuff and we will catch you next time see ya